I come up with the idea of taking the entire vertical, uh, the horizontal space and set the volume into it, but the geometry of structures grow, it's organically grow, integrate with a backdrop. And so the uh, play with a different geometry and create a kind of a fractal geometry in the chaos. It's a 78 feet. Pieces weighs about 350 pounds. And the entire is about a, a 2,500 pounds. Those I made on the Beijing studio, mm. which is all the carbon fibers, and then designed all the connectors, everything. And we even designed all the brackets in the back on the steel mm -hmm. beam, mm -hmm. painted the same colors, and it's mm. pretty crazy. And yeah. all, the, all the processes, and uh, five weeks to put up. I actually trained in the classic Chinese art. My major was figurative classic Chinese painting. I went to the uh, San Francisco Art Institute. I was taking on performance art, video, and installation art. Uh, but I kind of never really stopped the painting practice because I always see this entire hands-on material. So this is the one of the, uh, the gallery space, main gallery space, the Osher Galleries. The uh, screen and the projection films, also the reflections on the wall, uh, these are all sort of uh, interactive with the, with the, in a sort of different direction angles uh, in this kind of immersive experience. I don't want to be pigeonholed. Naturally, I mean, I think is especially you know as an individual and artist that you come with this background, I uh, use a specific media material, and people would like to even the art world critics would be pigeonhole you. Oh, he's Chinese. He's work on Chinese ink, and then therefore is a Chinese painting. No, <laughs> it's a painting. It's the work that engage with the space. It's all about the relationship. And as you create a space available for the viewer to fill it in.